Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, in today's tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you a cool new feature that's built into Android um, 12. Now, of course, Android 12 has a lot of new features, but some of them um, stand out more than others. One of the very new features that I've noticed as a part of the One UI 4.0 that's built in is the new Diagnostics tool. Now, of course, this is great in testing your device to make sure that all of the components are working fine. This can be great if you're getting a new phone to test um, the components before buying or of course it could be just a part of your regular diagnostic to test your device out you can use the onboard diagnostic tool all right so let's show you how to get to the cool diagnostic tool as a part of android 12 um, you can go to settings and of course um, you're from here to find the diagnostic tool you're going to go to You're gonna go to battery and device care. All right, so the new redesigned battery and device care is gonna look like this. But of course, down here, um, you're gonna see where it says um, diagnostics right down here, and it says touch screen sensor um, charging and more. All right, if you can't find this feature, you can always use the search feature that's in the settings menu. So you can always open settings and go ahead and use the search at the top of the screen. Should I be able to find it as well in case it's um, place somewhere else on your device. You're gonna click on the option and allow it to launch You might be asked to agree to some stuff uh, Before you're allowed to access the feature it Does take a while to start up most times All right, so as I said, it takes a while to start up sometimes. If it's not starting up, you can always close and launch again. Sometimes it's a little bit buggy. All right, so as you can see, um, it can run um, a test and you can test all. Um, of course, that's gonna be time consuming. So if you want to, you can actually go ahead and run it specific to an area you might be concerned about. So for example, let me just run you through. There's battery status, there's the NFC that's built in the SIM card, SD card. Power and start status, there's software, touch screen, there's a camera, there's mic, trust me, there's a lot of stuff here, but you can read this on your own time. I'm not gonna read all of them. Alright, so let's try out the um could try out like for example the battery. I use you the battery status. Um my case it says my battery is at 44%. Life is good, capacity shows a typical, and of course it says it's working normally. You can always um refresh the information as well to double check just in case it was cash from the last time. And of course, um, all right. So of course, again, you notice once you run a test, it does give you that cool confirmation that it's um, okay. Um, we could do also the speaker, and of course, it can run you through various tests and run you through the the, the um, process. So you simply have to go through and test, listen, and then of course. Now, in most cases, if you're trying to fix a problem, you can use this to totally go through and diagnose. It does give you a check mark, and of course, it tells you where action is required if there's a problem or so on. So it's a very cool um, tool. But as I said, you can do a full on um, run through, or of course, you can selectively choose what you want to test. It will run you through the test process. All right, guys, so that's a new feature. If you find it useful, please let me know in the comments below. We can go through every test, but of course, you can run through it self-explanatory. Simply read what's on screen and run through the process of testing the specific component with the test that Samsung has designed to test your device. Very nice feature that they have added. And of course, thumbs up to Samsung for adding this. Great for troubleshooting. All right, guys, Ricardo from um, Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.